This is FBI Breaking News. We're at the Southern Sun Hotel in Newlands, Cape Town, and I'm standing outside the room where the Health Professions Council hearing of Dr. Jacques Defosse's case is now in progress. We were inside the room, but were asked to leave by the chairman of the panel. I tried to hand over the Citizen Go Family Policy Institute letter calling for the end of persecution against Dr. DeFoss for his pro-life beliefs, along with 23,000 signatures, but was not allowed to do that. So we're waiting for an adjournment so I can approach Mr. Kajani of the HBC to hand over the petition and to call for the end of the persecution of Dr. Jacques DeFoss. We ask you to continue to pray for him. We ask you to continue writing to the Health Professionals Council. The information will be on your screens. Dr. Jacques Defoss hearing finally began in Cape Town on 28 October 2019. Prevented by the Health Professions Council from furthering his medical career for his pro-life beliefs, Defoss waited for a hearing for almost three years while his life was held in limbo. Although the hearing was finally held 28 to 30 October, Defoss legal team believes it is impossible for him to get a fair hearing because the HBCSA refused to provide the critical information they needed to prepare an adequate defense. In short, Dr. DeFoss has been punished because of his biblical convictions. I tried handing the Citizen Go Family Policy Institute letter, along with the 23,000 signatures to the HBCSA prosecutor, Zolili Gojana, demanding that the HBCSA stop persecuting Dr. DeFoss. But Mr. Gajana refused to accept it. I was forced to courier the 790 pages to the HBCSA CEO, Dr. Bila, at their headquarters in Pretoria. Please write to the HBCSA demanding they stop persecuting Dr. DeFoss for his pro-life beliefs right today.